All right, we're going to go ahead and make a mountain peak, and this is one of my favorite mountain peaks to make. It doesn't include using the mountain primitive that comes in d by default when you open up a scene. So we're actually going to delete all this, and we're going to throw in some other things here. So the first thing is plates. And the reason why I like using plates is because we get all these sharp peaks, these ridges. You can imagine this being a, a landscape where like two sides come together and they merge and collide with each other. And that's what this collision comes from. And you see this a lot in southern Utah uh, and Arizona and places like that where I'm where I'm at. Uh, so we're going to keep this and we're going to start out with it being super small in scale. And we're going to inc increase the collision just a tad bit, not much. And uh, we're going to turn on slant as well as change just the seed a little bit. The reason why we're doing this is because I just want there to be slightly different settings from the default, but I do want the scale to be small. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw in a gradient and we're going to connect the plates to the gradient. You can see what we're getting here. This is just a, a linear gradient, but what we want is a radial gradient. The reason why is because now we get this radial gradient coming in and you can see how that plate noise is making this awesome rocky looking landscape here but we need to change some stuff around so the first thing we're gonna do is we're we already have the scale very low we're just gonna change the seat around we're gonna go back and look and see what we have now this right here might work pretty well but hit F on the keyboard that will freeze this gradient it'll lock it let's go back to the plates hold down shift and hover over this and you can see how we can increment by one right here let's just do that a few times and see what we get so that looks pretty decent but let's keep going that doesn't look like it's doing enough that looks pretty cool All right, one more alright that might do it one more. And I mean it. One more. We can't have that straight edge. Sorry. We gotta do it again. Okay, we'll just keep this for the time being. Anyways, you can see what you can what you can get. It's gonna be this cool broken up plate like collision that we're getting. You can increase the seed as much as you want to see what you can get. And I feel like we get much better results doing this than sticking with the mountain primitive. And there's nothing wrong with the mountain priv primitive. It, it does its job. But sometimes you need to make a hero mountain. And you need to have a lot of detail and a lot of cool rock looking areas. So we're going to keep this. And uh, we're going to build off of this. And just for the tutorial's sake, I mean, I, I would spend more time trying to get the exact look I want. But for this case, we're just going to stick around with this. So plates and gradient. All right. So what's the next thing we want? Well, we want to displace. So let's go ahead and throw in a displace node. And this is just going to displace the noise that we have just a tad bit. But we're going to change the um, method from standard to ri ridged. Sorry, I can't. Rugged. Sorry, not ridged. Rugged. My cat's climbing on me and distracting me. Um, and then we're just going to increase the strength. There we go. Now we're getting in this detail here, but that's a little bit too much. Uh, just a tad bit more. We might be back down to where we started. But anyways, we're going to use the uh, rugged method, and we're going to use high quality. There we go. And that's what we're left with. All right. So now we need to start thinking about some other filters here. So we can throw in more filters if we want, or we can go straight into um, the erosion. So it all depends on what you want, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the erosion. So the first thing we're gonna do is throw in breaker. We're gonna keep just the default settings. We're gonna turn on hard cracks and make them accurate. There we go. Now we have these cracks coming into our landscape. Next, we're gonna throw in fold. There we go. You can see how fold is folding that landscape around. And we're just going to increase the angle. 
just a tad bit. There we go. And at this point, we can think of, of other things. Maybe maybe we can just finally just put in the, the last erosion. I'm going to try the apex node. Apex is really nice. It's one of my most favorite nodes to use. Even back in the day when I was using Geoglyph, it was one of my favorites. And you can see where we were with stuck with this we have like this square top we don't like that or I don't like that throw an apex now we have more of a um, peak look and this is also based on the noise from the plates we can change that around if we wanted to just by changing the seed so let's go ahead and move those and uh, there we go now we have that breaker fold and now we have more of a peak look, which is what I was looking for. And let's throw in erosion. And there we go. That's what we uh, are left with. So this is just a very basic landscape. An easy way to texture this is to go down to data maps, throw in protrusion, throw in velocity, Connect those to the outputs. And I just like to line these up. Combine them. And the method you want to use is max. Increase it all the way. There we go. Then use a sat map. We don't want this one. We want to right click erosion, the last node that we have, pin that for color. There we go. Now we can see what we're doing here. And let's just choose some color that looks good. Like that one looks pretty decent. When in doubt, go to 284. This one usually looks pretty good. You can see we have this coming in. And what you could do is you can actually mask the protrusions. And now your protrusions have this on them. So you have that, that, and when you put them together, you have a little bit of both. It's not a whole lot, but it kind of tones down the velocity map a lot. And now your protrusions have these little rocky outcrops. Increase the resolution to 2K, and then this is what you're left with at a higher resolution. You have these rocky peaks coming in. But this is just a very basic landscape obviously we can do a hell of a lot more so if we wanted to we could select the height and the slope and we can change it around but for the time being let's just call this a good basic tutorial and uh, we'll uh, end it here that way it doesn't go on for too long but it is one of my favorite uh, this is my favorite way to make mountains is just combining plates with a gradient and then just changing it around. And that erosion might be a little bit too strong. But anyways, uh, this will conclude this tutorial. So I'll go ahead and uh, we'll start up a, n a new one, a new tutorial right after this. Uh, expect to follow along uh, with another way we can go around making cool stuff. So I'll see you in the next one.